What's good, y'all? It's your girl Nancy here, and yeah, bitch, I got my motherfucking shit. Now, I gotta call them up to see what's happening with the other part because, like I said, I didn't get no information on it. But first, I'm gonna show y'all these um, extensions for my router slash end mill. Got this one here, came in a plastic bag, which is right here. So, um, yeah, really nothing special. So what I'm about to do is pop this open. I like how they got this seal. Like this case, this part is perfect. It's easy to um, take apart, easy to uh, put it back together, and if you drop it or whatever, it won't like bust it loose or whatever. I mean, just right, mate. Amazing. I like it. Skinny, long, not long, long, but long. And just basically uh, for what I need. So um, hopefully it'll be too long. Um, I was thinking I was needing five or six inches. I think this is uh, about a, I'll say a four and a half most likely. It might be a five, I don't know. But um, anyways though, about a, mm, got it right here. As you can see at the top, it's just like the end mill that is on the router, the standard router. Basically, this part here, it was on the router, but it's obviously upside down, and you unscrew this part, you pin in your um, drill bit or whatever, and then you tighten this back on, but inside of it, it has a um, base of thing that tightens it when you tighten the screw on like basically like pressure cap fitting or whatever but I'm um, going to unscrew this and yeah so this is what I'm doing at the moment I'm taking this off and this is what it's got so it looks like um, I need to get those type of fittings for the um, end mill slash drill bits and those are a little bit expensive but um, something I need and it'll pay itself off in the long run and um, yeah but that's what it is just this and your barrel basically so um, this part here is what you screw on for your bit this part goes into your end mill I mean on um, your router so this is for your router and this completely is clear see through so um mm -hmm. yeah now this will tighten down on that bit I mean on that um router that would be great but if it don't stay tightened um I can probably use this with a drill press or whatever I'm about to show you the other one that I got. Let me screw this a little bit back on there. So, yeah, I didn't want to go. <laughs> but, anyways, though, I'm happy to receive this. This is going to be so helpful. And I still have my router, so. I'm actually see if it works and fit on both of these that I received and got. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. They want to stay. Hopefully, they don't. I'm gonna put it right here. It ain't going nowhere. So now I got this one, and this one is bigger than that one. I was like the smaller one. And uh, let me open this up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now, this one is big. Big, big. And that one is closed. It's got the little hole. Um, and I cannot see through that little hole. So, I don't know. That's just a little dimple they pick. Because I can't see nothing through it. So, um... Mm -hmm. This is that. 
a pair of this. And obviously the screw ain't wanting the old shit. Put that right there. I'm trying to screw this motherfucker on. Shit. Come on. Shit. Yeah, this is not wanting to. Yeah, it's easy to take off, hard to put on. That's good enough. Anyways, though, um, yeah, the size of Paracy, as you can obviously see, big. And tubes are the same. The atom diameter, they are both uh, exactly the same. Obviously, uh, yeah, they're the same. This one's got a little, a little tab like a hair, bigger um, thickness to it, but it's the same diameter. It just got a little hair, basically like thin as on um, paper, one sheet of paper. So, um, yeah, this one here, I uh, just unscrew it. And as you can obviously see, bottom part you clamp onto and screw off the top or tighten it so it'd be easier for you to do that. Um, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and take this one off. This is most likely is for a actual drill press, most likely the um, router. And this mug is really heavy, so um, yeah, I'm gonna say this one. It's really for a press. And uh, yeah, this one do got the thing inside for the tighten down once you tighten the bolt. I mean the nut down. And um, yeah, this is what it looks like. So um, yeah, it's nice. Let me go ahead and take out this bit, which is bigger for bigger end mills or all drill bits. And I know this comes out, it's gotta come out, no? Hmm. Maybe is a way to take this out, but so far it's staying in. It's probably a screw where I can unscrew it out, but I'm not gonna do that. So um but yeah, basically that's what it is. It's probably a screw where I could screw it out and I can most likely play another different one in. That's basically like the same one as it. But uh, as of now, <sighs> I do like it. It is nice, it's neat. Now I'm about to do the second video for this um, video here because it's been way too long. But I got my other kit. I mean my first kit of my AR-15 lowers part kit. I got the complete set, and now I just gotta get the upper, which I paid for, I paid 300, I mean 200 or something dollars for, my bad. I said 300, I paid 200 or something. So anyways though, I'm about to show you all the parts of that, which ain't much at all. Probably take me about three minutes to do a review on it. So anyways though, Got both of these, came with the pin them to work, and I'm gonna check out this one first because I already know this one ain't gonna fit on the router I have. It's not gonna be good, it's not gonna go well at all. So, um, yeah, anyways, though, I will let you know. So, see y'all in the next video.